Hey YouTube fam, this is Ken with Learning Zen. Have you ever had to prepare for a product or software demonstration? Or maybe you were putting together, I don't know, um, a how-to YouTube video. In any of those cases, you're probably going to need a screen recorder. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to I'm going to show you how to use the screen recorder how to use the screen recorder in Camtasia 2022. When it comes to the Camtasia screen recorder, there are three ways that you can access the screen recorder. If you have it down pinned to your taskbar, you can right click and click record the screen, or you can click on it and open and select new recording, or you can select open project or new project and that will open you up and put you inside Camtasia and you can choose to record from there. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So I'm just gonna click new project. And now I'm in Camtasia. And from here, I can go to the top left, right above my tool menu and select record. And when I do that, when I click record, you'll see that the interface will go away. And all I'm left with are the record controls. And now you have the record controls. So let's just go through these and I'll show you what each one does. So this first block, this is going to be your screen. What do you want recorded? And you can click on the drop down, and you can select the full screen. And if you have multiple monitors, you can select which monitor you want to record. You can also choose a region. So if you just want to record a portion of the screen, not the whole screen, you can do that. You can set it to record in a uh, widescreen, whether that be 1080 or 720. And if you're creating something specifically for Instagram, you can set up those sizes as well. And this is the PC version. I believe in the Mac version, you might have a couple more options uh, for social media. So that's going to set up what from your computer is being recorded. And if you're doing something like a, a talking head video or you want to record yourself, you can turn on the webcam to record and you would just choose which one this would be, whether this the pro, I have a couple OBS Logic Capture. So you would just pick which one you want to use. Then you can select your sound. So if I turn this on, then I can select which microphone I want to use, and this will record the audio from your microphone. And if you are doing a screen recording, I definitely recommend using a microphone, record yourself uh, with a microphone and don't rely on the computer's microphone uh, or something like that, or the camera's microphone. You tend to be too far away. So you can decide if you want to turn that on, if you're going to be uh, doing narration or if you're going to be doing a voiceover, you can turn that on. Quick thing when you're recording audio in Camtasia, it records mono. Now, if someone out there in YouTube land knows how to get it to record in stereo, please drop that in the comments right after you subscribe. But <laughs> go ahead and drop that in the comments if you know how to convert this uh, to stereo. Me personally, I take it to an outside software and I do it there. Now, I am looking into Audiate, which is Camtasia's uh, audio editing. So I am looking into that. And as soon as I have some info on that, I will create a video and get that out to you as well. Okay, and then the last thing is the system audio. Now, if you're recording something that has sound and you want that sound to be in your video, you would turn this on. If you don't have any sound from what you're recording or you don't want it to record your computer because maybe you forgot to turn off your notifications, don't know anyone who's done that, um, 
because those notification sounds will come through. But you can turn this on or off depending on what you're recording. All right. Then we'll go to the tools. So in the tools, you'll select preferences. And then these are your preferences. Uh, some people like the countdown on. Other people do not like the countdown on. So you can turn that on and off. Restore the cursor location. You can open it in editor. And that's what mine does. So as soon as I'm done recording, my uh, Camtasia interface opens up. The recording sitting in my media bin and on my timeline. And I can just start editing right away. Files. This is up to you. Again, uh, I would recommend prompt for file name because if not, if you have it just on automatic, it's going to put it in your Camtasia folder and it's going to give it its own name. It'll say something like REC 111022. And if you've made one, two, three, or four, it'll have that number in parentheses after. It can get confusing. So prompt for the file name, you decide the file name, and then you decide where you want to keep it. Inputs, this is just where is the information coming from, which camera is being used. If you have multiple cameras, you'll select that. And then you can set up shortcuts if you would like. Once you're all set, you click OK. You click record, and you will be ready to record your screen. All right, so there it is, how to record your screen using the Camtasia Screen Recorder. If you like this video or any of the videos that we have on our channel, why don't you go ahead and give us a like, hit that subscribe button, ding the notification bell. We'll be coming out with new videos every week. Until next time, remember, laugh more and learn more. See ya. Or you can select blah, blah.